Okay, let's go here to the home screen. So this is where we will be at when you first come into Canva. Hello, welcome. <clears throat> what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be um, designing a cover photo for the group for CCBABs at the same time that we're learning this word effect right here. So what I'm going to do is start a new design. It's gonna be a custom size. So the size for the group is 1640 by 856 pixels. That's the size for the group photo. So that's what we're gonna do. So the group cover photo. <laughs> and the way you find those sizes, let me show you that right quick. So the way to find that is you'll go to Google and you'll just Google what size you want. So the group profile picture size is a 360 by 360. I put the group um, Facebook group cover photo size, and it gives me the size. So that's what we, we'll um, be using. And those are usually very accurate. So in order to make this effect, the split color effect, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our text. So I'm just gonna hit add a heading, and I'm actually just gonna do 60BAB. Let's get us a different font. What shall we do? I like Anton. We don't have to do anything fancy. Let me scroll down just a little bit more and see what else we got. I think I'm gonna go with that. It, on this part, it's whatever you choose. I want the letters to be a little bit further apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this right here, the spacing, and I'm gonna bring them letters a little bit further apart. Okay, I'm liking that. Now, the colors I'm gonna go with, let's go with pink. October starts at the end of this week. Well, the end of this week is the last day of September. So let's go with pink. We're gonna make the background pink. Let's change the word into white. Okay. Let me look at that again. Let me do. This is my problem here. I keep, I always change. Let's see what that is. Nope, let's go back. Okay. Let's go with this gaggling, I think is how it's pronounced. Like I'm gonna place this where I want it. And I'm just gonna make a duplicate page. Once I make the duplicate page, I'll change the colors now. So I'm gonna change that to pink. I'm gonna change the background to white. And that's just so I have them in the exact same place. So once I do that, I'm gonna hit share. Then I'm gonna hit download. And I'm just gonna download this current page that I'm on, which is page two. Once I do that, make sure you just hit one page. If not, you will download a um, zip file. So I'm just gonna download this one page. And I downloaded it as a PNG. I'm sorry about that. I should have said something. Let me find my folder so I can put it in there. So we're gonna call this split. Okay, so once I do that, I'm gonna go back up here to this first one and I'm gonna bring in that file that I just saved. Let's do it the proper way. We're gonna go over here to upload. I'm gonna upload a file. So I'm gonna upload this file right here. Open, allow to upload. Then I'm gonna add that to my canvas. This is my canvas. I'm gonna add that picture to my canvas. Then I am going to size it. Once I size it, I'm gonna bring this one all the way to the front. I wanna make sure it's on the front, bring to front. Once I bring that to the front, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my um, handle right here and I'm gonna bring it down and I'm gonna get it where I want it. And there we go. We have our split text. Now you'll notice on the last one, the one behind me, I did 
three different um, layers. And all I did was make another copy of the one that I had at the bottom. So say if we did this, the letters are kind of short, but I'll show you how I did that. So I bring it down to maybe a third of it. Then I'll take it and I will make a duplicate of it. Make sure I line it up straight. I'm going to open it all the way back up. Then I'm going to take the handle from the bottom and I'm going to go up. So that's how I did it when I did it in thirds. You can do it in fourths, you can do it in fifths, do it in sixths. It doesn't matter how many layers you do, you do the same action over and over again. Just, I'm gonna do it in half for this one because the letters are very short. In my name behind me, I use uh, tall letters. So once I do that, that is the effect I was teaching you and it's called split, split cutter effect. Now definitely you can do it opposite if you wanted to do it the vertical way. You can do it the vertical way. You can make another one and put it on top. So you can take this, make a duplicate. Go back, go back, go back. So take this one and make a duplicate of that one. Put it back on there, stretch it back out. And you can take it, make sure it's the exact same size. You can take it and you can go up. Then you can take another one and you can go the opposite direction so that you can have four different colors. So you would take this bottom one and you will put it on top and you will go halfway so that you will have different colors. So let's get rid of all of that and go back to what I originally was doing. And we're gonna go down. So I'm gonna do a quick cover design. So we have, um, the dimensions up there already. So this dimensions for the cover design is 1640 pixels by 856 pixels. And that's what we have here. So I'm just gonna add some different elements to here. I have a cricket right here. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna take that picture. This is gonna be a lot of pink. I didn't think this ahead, ahead but nonetheless, let's go ahead. Get rid of some of this dead space so this picture will be easier to handle. Let's put that right here. Of course, I'm gonna change this. This is a lot of pink. Definitely, we're gonna write the name. So let's go here. We're gonna put a head in and we're gonna write the name of the group. If I can spell it, let me move this up so I can see what I'm typing. All right, so I want it all on one line because that's the way it is written. Okay, let's get some definition to this. So I'm going to go up here to position. I'm going to grab my original words, which are the white words right there. I'm going to make a copy, duplicate. Let's turn that black. And we're going to sit that right on top of our letters. Making sure we grab the right thing. Let's grab it from position. And we're going to put it right on top. Once we get it on top, we're going to go to effects. This is where we're going to kind of give our split color a little definition. We're going to hit hollow. Let's turn that down. Thickness. Let's do about a 15. Okay. So we gave our words a little definition so they don't kind of blend together. Also, let's get, let's um, define this line right here. So we're gonna go over here to elements and let's type in thin black line. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, that's got sort of design to it. I actually like it. Let me bring it down a little bit. Okay, so once I got that set, I'm just going to add some different elements to the design. And these are some elements that I had already used. So we're going to use this butterfly. And what I looked up for that was breast cancer ribbon. 
once I did that, I hit see all on the graphics. So I have my hands. I'm going to use these hands right here. Put them right here. And I want these hands under everything except the um, background. So I'm going to go right here to position. And that's my hands. I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to make sure it's behind everything except that pink background. Okay. So all I did was move it to the back. You can do it that way. Or you can do the layer way and just hit um, send backwards, send backwards, send backwards until you get it where you want it. But I think it's easier just to go over to position, hit layers, then move it to where you want it. Okay. Then we're going to get this butterfly. Now, it's still under breast cancer ribbon. Let's give that a little turn. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a duplicate. This one I want to turn white. So I'm going to move it up here. Let's duplicate it again. So as it go further away, it gets smaller. Okay, so I've got that. Get my other element I had. I used these um, boobs, and again, um, I just typed what I wanted. So I'm going to put them over here, make them a little bit smaller. Give it a little turn. So I want this, I'm going to turn that white. So I want another one. So let me grab the one at the bottom. That'll be this one. I'm going to turn that one black. I'm going to bring it out just a tad bit so I can see it. Not very much. Move it over. Okay, so I'm going to grab the black one. I'm going to hit border, and I want to put a border around it. Okay, I got that going on. I don't know what happened to my words. So I have my words on here. Let me go down to position. Here we go. So these are my words. They are white. Let's change them black. It's not allowing me to turn it black. Oh, it is black. I'm sorry. I got to move it on top. I am so special. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. So let me move that down. Okay, so I make that a little bit bigger. Then I'll make me another one. I'm going to make that one a little bit smaller. And I'm going to kind of turn that one that way. So, I'm going to take that. And I want to put that one under the words. And I'm just moving it under the words again. You can use the other way to do it. So I'm going to take this, and the effect I want for this, I want hollow. 
Let's go ahead and change this font. Trying to get a thicker font. Okay. Again, that's why I grab it by position. So let's turn that back white. Let's change the effect to outline. We're going to make the outline black. And we'll make the outline thicker. It looks much better this way. Okay. Take that and kind of put it at the right down one. Let's put some design elements in here. We're gonna go to the uploads. Just gonna grab my heat press. I'm gonna flip that around. I'm gonna grab my cricket. Let it fall on. There we go. Okay, let's turn. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I'm saying that on this live because this will become my YouTube video. Double duty. Instead of retaping it, I'm just going to use this one. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.